Hello and welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Thank you for being here. If this is your first visit to my channel, would you be so kind as to click on the big red subscribe button at the bottom of this video. Mickey's Magic Pencil Chapter 1 On Monday morning, Mickey rushed into the classroom. Look what my gran sent me. It's a magic pencil, he shouted. Class G crowded round. It looks like any old pencil to me, said Molly. I don't believe it's magic. Mickey held up the pencil. It is! Watch! He grabbed a piece of paper and drew a circle on it. The circle was red and yellow and blue and green. And it sparkled. Wow! said Pip. That's brilliant. Can I have a go? Mickey hesitated. He wanted to go on drawing, but he liked Pip a lot. OK, he said. Mrs. Grant came into the room. Good morning, everyone. I've got a magic pencil, Mickey told her. Oh, how lovely, Mrs. Grant said. Class G sat at their tables and Mrs. Grant went to her desk. We've got a busy day today, she said. Maths first. Mickey groaned. He didn't like maths. Mrs. Grant smiled at him. Never mind, you can use your magic pencil. Pip's got it, Mickey said. Can I have it back, please, Pip? Pip was using the magic pencil to write in her new homework book. Look, she said, it writes really well. That's because it's magic, Mickey told her. Molly shook her head. There's no such thing as magic. Yes, there is, Pip said. Look at my writing. Mrs. Grant went to see. Goodness, Pip, that's very neat. Would you like to hand out the maths worksheets? Pip beamed. Yes, please. Molly frowned. She liked handing out the worksheets. See, Molly, Mickey waved his pencil in the air, told you it was magic. Chapter 2. Class G sat and stared at their worksheets. I really don't like maths, Mickey said, even though he had his magic pencil. The sums looked hard. I do, said Molly. I love maths. I'm really good at adding up, aren't I, Mrs. Grant? She made a face at Mickey. I don't need a silly magic pencil. Zack began to cry. I can't do it. He wailed. The numbers are stupid. Mickey looked at Zack. A tear was rolling down Zack's cheek. Cheer up, Mickey said. You can use my magic pencil. Zack sniffed. It won't work. A moment later, he looked up with a huge smile. I can do it, he said. Sixteen apples and five apples adds up to twenty-one. Molly stared at him. But you're no good at maths. I'm good at it now, Zack said. I can do the next one too. Nine and eleven is twenty. Would you be sick if you ate twenty apples, Mrs. Grant? Mrs. Grant nodded. I think you might be, Zack. She put two big ticks in Zack's workbook. You're as good as Molly. Mickey turned to Molly. See, I told you it was magic. Chapter three. The next lesson was P.E. Mickey and Zack walked to the hall together chatting. We'll be using the skipping ropes today, Mrs. Grant said. Who likes skipping? Lots of hands went up. Macy slung to the back of the line. I hate skipping, she whispered to Zack and Mickey. I always fall over. Mickey beamed at her. Here, put my magic pencil in your pocket. I love skipping, said Molly. Watch me do doubles. We'll all skip together, Mrs. Grant said. Everyone ready? Let's begin. Everyone skipped. Molly did doubles and then Macy did doubles as well. Look what I can do, she said in surprise. Wow, said Molly, you're almost better than me. Mickey grinned. That's because Macy's got my magic pencil in her pocket. Give it to me, Molly ordered. If it's really magic, I'll be able to do a million skips. But she couldn't. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't work. She dropped the pencil on the floor. Mrs. Grant said, maybe it helps people who think they can't do things when really they can. She smiled at Macy. Macy nodded. That's right. Watch. And she did ten doubles in a row. At lunchtime, everyone wanted to sit next to Mickey. We're doing the Victorians this afternoon, Billy said. Can I use your pencil for drawing a coal mine? Can I use it for writing a poem? Asked Beth. Can I use it for my newspaper report? Asked Asif. Mickey sighed. He'd been hoping to use his pencil himself. Please, begged Billy and Ben and Asif. OK, Mickey said. You can take it in turns. Then he said to Molly, see, I told you it was magic. 
Molly sniffed. I don't need it anyway, she said. Chapter 4 At the end of the day, Mrs. Grant looked at the children's work. Wonderful, she said. You've all done very well. Mickey's pencil worked real magic. Thank you, Mickey. That's okay, said Mickey. He looked around. Where is it? I haven't got it, said Billy. No, me, said Ben. I gave it to Zack. Zack shrugged. I haven't seen it for ages. Maybe Asif's got it, said Pip. But Asif didn't have the magic pencil, and nor did Danny or Jade or Dylan or Daisy or George or Sasha or Zack or Kira. Everybody have a proper look, Mrs. Grant told them. Check your work trays and look under all the tables and chairs. Class G jumped up and rushed round the classroom. I found a stripy pencil, shouted Jade. I found a yellow pencil with a rubber, yelled George. Daisy waved a pencil in the air. I found a spotty one. Mrs. Grant clapped her hand. Hush, everyone sit down. She sounded cross. There was a sudden silence. That's better, Mrs. Grant said. Pip put up a hand. Please, Mrs. Grant, I think I might have found Mickey's magic pencil, but I'm not sure. Chapter 5 Pip was holding something. It didn't look much like the magic pencil Mickey had brought into school. Or could it be? It was the right colour. Mickey rubbed his head and stared. It was very small. He made up his mind. That's not my magic pencil, he said. It's too tiny. Mrs. Grant looked as well. Actually, I think it might be, she said. She drew a wavy line on a piece of paper and it was red and yellow and blue and green and it sparkled. But what's happened to it? Mickey asked. Macy went pink. Mm, I did sharpen it just a bit and that made it a teeny tiny bit smaller, but only a teeny tiny bit. I sharpened it too, said Asif. And me, said George. Sasha and Daisy nodded. We did too. I sharpened it as well. Pip held up a pencil sharpener. I sharpened it twice. Mickey picked up the stub of the pencil. Oh, she said. It's all used up, Sasha said sadly. Mickey was very kind to lend everyone his magic pencil, Mrs. Grant said. I think we should all say sorry. Sorry, Mickey, everyone said together. Mickey dropped the end of the magic pencil in the waste paper basket. It's okay, he said but his voice was a little bit wobbly. I don't really mind. Zack went over to Mickey. Tell you what, Mickey, tomorrow I'll bring you a new red pencil because you were so kind to me today. It's not a magic pencil, but it's a very nice one. I'll bring you a blue one, Pip told him, and we'll bring a green one, said the twins. Yellow, shouted George, and the rest of the class all promised Mickey different colours. Molly came over to Mickey too. She was holding out her favourite blue sparkly pencil. You don't have to give me anything, Mickey said. You didn't use my magic pencil. Mm, Molly went pink. Actually, I did. I used it to write my party invitations. She pulled a card out of a drawer. Here you are. Can you come? Everyone else is. Thanks, said Mickey. Looks really nice. Molly went even pinker. I'm sorry I didn't believe you, Mickey. But actually, actually, I think your pencil really is magic. Mickey grinned and picked up a school bag. Good. See you all tomorrow for another magic day. And he went out of the door whistling cheerfully. The end. Thank you for listening. I'll see you soon in the next story. Bye for now.